Ma, there's a weird f yeah. straight cat outside. It looks it looks like grandma the f yeah. thing. Hey, get the f yeah. out of here. I don't even know if that's a f yeah. cat. Blink, mother f yeah. Hey, no, 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 no. I am a YouTuber, albeit not a very good one. But, as someone who's been a fan of this wonderful website since its beginnings in 2005, in this past 19 years I've seen countless YouTubers come and go. And whilst I was thinking of that fact, I realized that in the year of our Lord 2024, YouTube's kinda shit. Maybe a bit of an exaggeration. But for every YouTuber who truly strives to make quality content, putting days, weeks, months, heck even years for one single video, there is in return a thousand react channels, Twitter drama fests, and I don't know, whatever the heck this is. And it's not like I'm the only one who thinks this. I could stay here and criticize content that's created for overconsumption, and maybe I will someday. I'm gonna add this one to the pile of ideas. No, today I'd like to do something different and shout out a few YouTubers that I consider to be just really good cozy influences in this vast sea of low effort negative feelings inducing content. So with no further ado... Full disclaimer, I'm absolutely biased because these creators pander to my own personal interests. But also, it's my channel and I can do whatever the heck I want. I'll ramble a bit on each YouTuber and recommend one or two of their videos in hopes that you'll watch them. First on the list, the weird yeah. cat. This British pixelated feline is Owie Brain Hurts, more commonly known as Owie. She has some... Uh, uh, interesting content to say the least. She first started doing funny comics online and felt compelled to comment on the internet's more uh, questionable reactions to her art and to herself. She's a very lovely and witty personality and has a simple yet distinguishable art style. Well I've always had anxiety, IBS as well, OCD, panic attack. What's that behind you? What do you mean what's behind me? <laughs> No matter what anecdotes she decides to talk about, it's easy to become entranced, and it's difficult to pinpoint one specific reason why that is. However, the best way that I can describe it, and please don't take this as some weirdo fan's parasocial comment, but it feels like you're talking to a childhood friend, not a YouTuber. So we're at the point in YouTube's lifespan, unless you're very very young, Whenever you hear a YouTuber call you BOYS screaming WHAT'S UP GUYS it just feels like they're playing a parody of themselves. But with Aoi, it feels like Ya dumb met just chatting up and that Gavna. Would you like some tea and crumpets? My apologies to the British audience, I'm Portuguese, remember our alliance, be cool, be cool, please! I recommend her old channel, but if I haven't sold you on it, give her a My Too Old video a shot. It presents a pretty healthy take on our relationship with time, personal success and life expectations. So if you've been doom scrolling all day, feeling like your life is going nowhere, stop it. Get some help and watch this instead. Also, not to brag, but uh, she loved my comment on her almost uh, at 100k posts. And uh, we all know how special that makes me, <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, if you guys couldn't tell, I have an academic background in visual arts, graphic design, and illustration and animation. That is to say, I've got no future. The world of arts can be a truly cruel place. It's no wonder that the stigma of parents fearing for the kid's life as they proudly state they'll become an artist to be alive and well. But every once in a while, you find these dreamers. The brave fools who disregard the cruelty of this world and instead plunge headfirst into it. Developing a skill set that only evolves over time, becoming something special. That's the feeling I get when I watch Michelle Shang's YouTube channel, 
Lemon Kali. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm an animation student, meaning that I think about art a lot, as well as ways I can push my work into new territory. Michelle is an animation student at Cal Arts, and her work is shown beautifully through her videos. From sketchbook showing, animation workflows, to character design and full uni short films. And although I could stay here gushing all over her work from an art kid's perspective, instead what I'd like to focus on and what I find more interesting about the channel itself is her editing style. Combining photography, collages, stop motion, film animation, digital and traditional arts, the amount of notes explaining autistic movements, identifying key information relevant to the themes of the video, as well as her own personal thoughts, explaining her work in a form that doesn't shy away from the more technical terms of the art world, but it's recited simply enough that anyone can easily understand and enjoy. It doesn't feel like you're watching a YouTube video. It feels like you're watching a movie. And I find that... beautiful. Art, fashion and the French Revolution explores that time period alongside Maximilien Rospierre as a subject for character design. And it's by far her most viewed video. And with good reason, it's fantastic. And although I can easily recommend that video or any of her short films, I'd actually shout out her Come Sketch and Explore Paris with Me travel journal. It explores her thoughts on the city, its museums and tourist spots, and how those affect how and what she draws on the sketchbook. It's a lovely watch, and uh, if you're a lost wandering artist, I hope you'll give her a shot. Now, as for my last recommendation, I have to first ask you this. Do you suffer from PTSD every time a ukulele shows up on screen now? Me too! Let's fix that, shall we? <laughs> this is Gailey. She runs the channel Fishibishi. And if there was an actual YouTube category entitled Feel Good Content, she'd fit right in. You'd probably guess from my own content, but I personally prefer longer form videos. And if I had all the time in the world, I too would unleash my full potential. I say this because if someone like me is shotting a channel with videos that are on average one minute long, then it's gotta be one great minute. And it is! Gilly sings these charming micro songs about love, heartbreak, truth be told, any small thoughts about life you've probably had at some point yourself. She sings in both Tagalog and English, sometimes combining both languages in the same song, all of these going alongside her adorable animatics. Truth be told, there's not much more that I can say without basically showing her entire channel, but I'll add this little side note. She always ends her videos with telling you to watch One Piece, she's a sore simp, and I respect her a lot for that. <laughs> Personally, far away, what Matters and The Reason I'm Alive equally take first spot as my favorite songs. They're the ones that speak to me as someone living abroad, trying to find balance in his personal and work life. They're short, sweet, catchy, and they will get stuck in your head. And hopefully you'll thank me for it. And so that was my top 3 cozy feel-good content creator. Yeah, I don't really have an outro for this one. I truly love these creators, and instead of rotting your brain with the trash of YouTube, I don't know, I just think you should find amazing creators that appeal to you too. If you do end up watching their stuff, tell them I said hi. Also, I just made an Instagram and Twitter account, so you can better keep up with whatever comes next for the channel, assuming that I don't procrastinate, die from overwork. I know this was different and a shorter video, but uh, I'm in my experimental phase. So to those who have been here from the beginning and fear I won't do videos like the ones I've done up until now, don't worry, I will. May just take some time though. As always, please do take care of yourselves. You'll always be welcomed here. I love you. Bye bye